Pastor Mike coming to you from the backyard. Uh, it's almost the Sunday uh, after Easter. Uh, this is the Sunday, of course, when we all would come to church and look around and ask, where did everybody go? Of course, this year it's different. For one, we didn't come to church on Easter, at least gather, and number two, everybody's already gone. And so here we are, we are once again dispersed, uh, sitting here kind of wondering what that means. Uh, I uh, had a conference call this week with some pastors who have been friends of mine, mine for years, and we were talking about what it was like uh, to pass to do Easter uh, in an empty church, which is what most of us did, and the fact that it was just sort of the weirdest experience a lot of us had had in memory, uh, and really realizing that we were all in the same place, somewhere on the line between doubtful and hopeful about how things were going to go. Uh, and that makes it a good Sunday to talk about the text we usually talk about this Sunday, which is the story of Thomas. Every Easter, it turns out uh, that Thomas shows up right about this time, the Sunday after Easter. Uh, and Thomas had his own doubts about how it was going to go. You might remember the story of Thomas. Basically, Jesus shows up for a meeting with the disciples, and Thomas isn't there, and Thomas finally does show up a little bit too late, and his comment on the fact that Jesus rose from the dead is this, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my fingers uh, where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. Uh, so there's Thomas for us somewhere between uh, doubtful and hopeful. Uh, which frankly is where most of us are most of the time on any given day we're somewhere between doubtful and hopeful. I don't want to steal all my thunder for Sunday but it does the good news of that text is this is that even if Thomas can't quite figure out how to find Jesus Jesus can still figure out how to find Thomas and even though Thomas can't quite figure out how this is going to work out Jesus has a plan for how it's going to work out. Uh, and so I hope as you join me today, wherever you are today, somewhere on that line between doubtful and fearful, we at least let the good news of the gospel uh, be heard in our lives, that God can find us where we are, and that God still has a plan for how all of this is going to work out. Uh, so join me in prayer today as we uh, come to this day together, we seize its opportunities, we face its challenges, and we claim its promises of resurrection. O oh Lord, grant us your grace today that as we live our lives, uh, we might constantly seek to turn toward you in the anticipation that you can still find us. Lord, speak your hope into our lives you have risen from the dead, so there is every reason to expect that you will help us rise to the challenges of this day and the days that are ahead of us. Be with us, our God. Bless those who are fearful today, who struggle, who feel loneliness uh, in their bones. Uh, give them the encouragement, the hope, the conversations that they need to know that they are not alone. Be with church this day. Help us to look to you for your guidance and the faithfulness you promise. Father, bless us, we ask. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you on Sunday.